Don Lemon, who is, of course, an African-American uh, CNN host, is basically going to come out in favor of racial profiling on the radio here. The next New York City mayor, he may not know it, but so goes New York City, so goes the rest of the country. If he alters the equation of the formula that has reduced crime in New York City to its lowest in decades, one of which is stop, question, and frisk, and the crime rate creeps back up, beyond local citizens moving away to the suburbs, people will stop visiting, stop spending their tourist dollars, a big driver to the city's economy. The city will suffer international consequences. Cities and municipalities around the country will follow suit, looking at the Big Apple as an example of what to do or not to do. So whatever the mayor here decides will be reflected in your city, reflected in your crime rate, in your economy. So the question is, would you rather be politically correct or safe and alive. That's the real issue facing the citizens of New York and pretty soon, ultimately, you. Uh, yeah, no. There's a logical fallacy called false dichotomy. That is exactly what Don Lemon just did there. Well, either you're in favor of searching random people, mostly minorities, or you wanna die. No, I don't want either of those things. So let me give you some numbers on this to prove my case here further. 87% of the 685,724 stops in the year 2011, the stop and frisks, uh, which is a record high, by the way, were of blacks and Latinos. Young black men between the ages of 14 and 24 were stopped 106% of the time. So you're probably thinking like I was, what does that mean and how could you be stopped more than 100% of the time? Well, what that means is there were more stops of young black men than the entire population of young black men in New York City. Isn't that amazing, man? That blows my mind. Stop and Frisk had a 90% failure rate in 2011, and in the first three months of 2013, when the number of stops fell by 51% uh, the same from the same period last year, the crime rate dropped as well. So do you understand that? That's very important. In the first three months of 2013, excuse me, the first three months of 2013, they didn't do as many stops. And what happened? Crime fell. So you can't say, well, look, it's the stop and frisks that are keeping us safe because there's no causation correlation. I mean, that's like saying, hey, the number of people who ate ham sandwiches in New York City rose between this year and this year and crime fell between this year and this year. Therefore, eat more ham sandwiches, it prevents crime. There's no connection there, right? They say it as if there is a connection, but there's no connection. So on top of all that, a study by the city's own public advocate found that stops of white people were twice as likely to yield a weapon and a third more likely to yield some form of contraband as compared to stops of black people. So it's the white people committing the crimes, but 87% of the stops are for uh, black and Latino men. Again, it's amazing. It shows you how stereotypes trump reality and people's preconceived biases and uh, already held uh, prejudices stop them from looking at the situation rationally. So look, what these statistics prove is that Don Lemon and the pro stop and frisk people are wrong. But even if the statistic weren't on our side on this, the bottom line is, the policy would still be unconstitutional. The Fourth Amendment protects you from unreasonable search and seizure. That's exactly what this is. And get this, only 11% of the stops last year were based on suspicion that the individual had committed a crime. <laughs> only 11% they think the guy's committing the crime before they search him. More than half of the stops were based on what's called, quote, furtive movement. Now, what is that? It is a broad category that encompasses all types of legal actions. So it really is the case that New York City police officers were just like, I don't know, stop that guy, fuck it. I, I guess so, he's black. He, I guess he looks kind of thuggish. Go ahead, search him. That guy's got tattoos, search him. Oh, this guy's got earrings, search him. Oh, this guy's kind of big and muscly, search him. You don't think that's how they're doing it? Well, this shows that's exactly how they're doing it. Sorry, Don Lemon, you're dead wrong on this one.